just go, go ahead and start and just say I can't uh, express how proud I am of our players, uh, the effort that they've uh, continued to put forth, the preparation uh, that they had throughout the week. You know, a lot of people have written uh, this team off, this group of individuals off, and uh, they just keep coming to work every single day. We're getting better. Um, they went out and uh, they took Minnesota's best punch in the, at the start of the game, first quarter. Um, Minnesota came out and had a good game plan and started the game off fast. You know, if you don't have good character kids, you, you fold. You know, in that situation, especially uh, with the uh, losing streak that we've been on the last few games. But uh, again, we got great kids that care, um, want to do things right, and have a chance to be successful. And they play so hard for each other. And uh, just you know, can't say enough about. It. This group of individuals, and uh, we're, we'll get there. You know, uh, we're, we're knocking on the door. We'll get there. Uh, we're getting better. Uh, still, it's it's about learning how to win, how to do little things um, in highly competitive football games, especially on the road against a good team, well coached team. That you have to do to win football games, and you know, get back to uh, we had some turnovers again, uh, special teams issues with the missed miss extra point, the obvious uh, kick return for a touchdown. Just to, again, too many mistakes to, to win a football game in this league uh, on the road. But um, players are very resilient and uh, stick together and, and play uh, extremely hard. And um, you know, I feel for them. Um, we're going to get better, and uh, um, we'll, we'll get over that hump. I don't know when it's going to be, but we'll get over that hump. And uh, uh, there's no quitting these guys, and uh, the attitude's extremely, uh, extremely high. So with that, I'll go ahead and open up for questions. Oh, a lot of heart, a lot of spirit, made a lot of plays. Well, it wasn't perfect. Uh, had a misread on the interception there at the, at the end of the first half. You know, we wanted to fade to Carlton um, where it was, you know, fairly safe throw. And um, he, he saw something from the safety that uh, took his eyes to a different read. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's due to some inexperience. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he, we had a fumble. Um, had another interception there in the second half into a coverage. Uh, where they rolled up, but uh, I thought overall, um, Gio played his heart out uh, for his first start and uh, not getting a lot of reps even in practice uh, throughout the course of the year uh, to be able to go out and lead the offense uh, to what I would consider our best performance of the year. Uh, it was our best balance of the year. Um, obviously uh, scored a lot of points, uh, um, you know, for most points in a Big Ten game by far. Uh, very, really happy for the kid and, and excited about what he can do as we move forward. Uh, he heard he uh, hurt his hamstring early in the game on a run, and um, you know we had to bring Tylen in uh, there. We wanted a quarterback run, and uh, just couldn't do it with with Gio. He was hurting, so we had to bring him out a couple times in the game. Uh, but uh, the kid's a warrior. You know he wasn't going to sit on the sideline long. Um, got him looked at, and he wanted to go right back in. But uh, we were limited with some of the things he could do after the hamstring. Yeah, absolutely. I think the, not only the offense, but the whole sideline, you know, coaching staff sideline. And, you know, we're in there at halftime, and, and we're down. I think it was 21-10 at half, and uh, we just gone down the field, and um, you know, made a mistake at the end. But there was a lot of confidence in the locker room uh, after that drive. A lot of it was because of Gio leading the offense. Um, he just he could do some do some things that we haven't been able to do this year. Extend plays with his feet, scramble, um, some quarterback runs early in the game. It gives everybody a lot of confidence when, when your quarterback can do that. And um, I, I think he did a lot for our, our whole football team today. Chris, you mentioned the special teams in your opening statement. Obviously, there's the missed PAT, but the kick return for a touchdown. And then I think probably the last drive is a short kickoff that yeah. we're trying to get good field position. Anything you guys can do on special teams there to fix uh, that? Well, yeah, I mean, but it starts, you know, we got to kick the, the ball better. Um, we had the interception for a touchdown. Uh, we go out and we miss the extra point. Uh, we had a lot of defensive players that were obviously on the field that ran uh, a lot on the interception return for a touchdown. Um, we wanted to go sky with the kick, you know, have a short kick, hopefully uh, force a fair catch because uh, we had a lot of tired guys run down on a kickoff. Um, ball obviously didn't go where we wanted it. Um, went down to, I think, to about the eight, six or eight yard line, you know, uh, towards the middle of the field. And, uh, our coverage structure didn't adjust uh, the way we, we needed it to. Um, but uh, again, we were trying to kick a high. Uh, kick to the right, a high short kick to the right to try to force a fair catch because we just had a bunch of tired guys uh, on the unit and it didn't work out that way and unfortunately went back for a touchdown. Coach, they uh, ground out the ball really well in the second half. How do you evaluate Leitner and Rodney Smith's performance? 
No, oh, they're really good players. No, they, they were guys we were concerned about going into the game. Leitner's an outstanding quarterback, played a lot of football, uh, a veteran. Um, Rodney Smith's a uh, really tough runner, and um, he's got the uh, make it miss ability. He's got breakaway speed to, to take it to the house. Um, outstanding players. Those guys, you know, you put that with a big offensive line like they've got, they got a good combination. Yeah, uh, Goodwin uh, ran exceptionally hard today. Got some really tough runs. He did a nice job in protection uh, also and um, uh, provided a, a good spark in the run game. But uh, Rob got hurt in the uh, last game against Illinois. Um, you know, there, were, there was a lot of questions about uh, the carries for Rob in the Illinois games because he got hurt. And, um, you know, he tried to practice this week, did not practice this week, and uh, just couldn't go. Um, he'll be back. It, it's not a, something that will hopefully keep him out too long, but uh, he was unable to go today from uh, an injury that happened early in the Illinois game. Emotional Mark question. Chris, emotionally and physically, uh, obviously, some of us say, well, this would be a good time to fight. We've just been close to what you've gone through. I guess it's just, you know, the, the, the losing streak and then the fact you have so many guys playing. Uh, yeah, I mean, the losing streak is what it is. It's, it's more about guys' physical and mental uh, health right now. We are beat up. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, it's been a long uh, stretch, and uh, yeah, we need to buy week bad. And uh, when we look at the bye week objectives, the first and foremost is to get our guys healthy. Uh, we'll continue to practice, and we'll get a uh, at some point an early jump on Indiana, our, our next opponent. But it's more about getting healthy mentally and physically right now. Chris, down, down 21 3 you made some adjustments on defense, getting personnel, linebackers. Uh, well, we, we knew stopping the run was going to be a challenge. They have a big uh, offensive line and good backs, and they got a mobile quarterback. They can threaten you in a lot of different ways. And uh, they hit us in the mouth to start the game. Um, they came out and, and uh, pushed us around and knocked us back. And um, even when we fit things right, you know, our linebackers were struggling to, to tackle the running backs for uh, no gain or, or uh, you know, they were getting dragged for, for a number of yards. And it wasn't really much about adjustments. It was more about getting used to uh, the speed and power of their O-line and their backs and um, the physicality of how they were playing more than anything. Um, we made a couple of uh, tweaks, uh, you know, to some things, but it was more about our players just getting used to uh, the speed and power of their offensive line and, and running backs more than anything. But you know, I'll give our guys a lot of credit, you know, you know based on uh, the way the last few games have gone, uh, we got in that situation. You know, uh, again, a lot of teams would have folded, and our, and our guys didn't. Uh, they were coachable on the sideline. Um, they never doubted their ability uh, to come back and, and have a chance to be in the football game. And uh, again, I can't say enough about them.